I'm Claire Moulton, the publisher at the Company of Biologists, and today I'm speaking with Craig Franklin, the editor-in-chief of Journal of Experimental Biology. So Craig, um, JB's been on quite um, an open access journey with the emergence of the Read and Publish Agreements. How did you and your authors feel um, before the Read and Publish Agreements came into play about open access? I think most of us like the concept of open access you know the ability to be able to share your your publications as broadly as possible uh, not only to our scientific community but to the general public but the impediment was the cost for general experiment, experimental biology our field doesn't get the huge grants and so the cost of publishing open access was prohibitory for most. And so what change did you see once the read and publish agreements came into play? Well, the read publish agreements has absolutely changed how we view open access. We've seen a, a massive turnaround. We've seen a, an increase in open access publications. And this deal, this read publish deal has enabled researchers, experimental biologists, to be able to publish open access in JEB um, without having to incur the, the, the costs associated with uh, APC's author publication charges. Yes, the, the, the costs are paid for by librarians or by institutes um, or institutions, but um, it leaves the, the the researcher um, to be able to spend its uh, hard-earned uh, grant funding on actually doing the research and supporting students. And we've seen um, a, a massive change on JEB. So the journal had never got above 5% um, of the research being published open access, and we're now at nearly 20%. Um, so what sort of feedback have you had from authors? We've had wonderful feedback from authors. As I say, it's, it's a, a game changer and how we get our science out there. So suddenly, through these republished deals, researchers, authors are able to have open access articles that they can share broadly across the, their, their, their scientific um, community, but even more broadly uh, to the general public. And that, that enables uh, a discourse a, a way to communicate more broadly our, our science. And we've seen that um, our open access articles receive more than twice as much usage as our non-open access articles. So we can see that there's a real benefit for authors and readers. Um, how has your view on open access changed then over the past year? It's changed my views dramatically. I'm, I'm very much in favor of this because the republished deal facilitate open access. That's important. It, it acts as a catalyst. And suddenly, I think what we'll see is our papers in JB being read more widely. Um, and uh, it will enable people from a variety of, of perhaps less uh, funded, less fortunate institutions to be able to actually access our papers. Uh, you know, that's the wonderful thing about open access. It doesn't matter where you're in the world, what your economy is like, you can actually access those papers. Isn't that, isn't that a wonderful thing? So yes, the, the response has been um, overwhelmingly positive. And uh, I hope that um, we can encourage more institutions, universities uh, to sign up to these deals. So we have librarians putting in place agreements that really help authors and readers. Thank you, Craig. That's been brilliant talking to you. Thank you very much. You know, thanks, Claire. Um, I think we have a, have a bright future um, uh, with open access. Thank you. <laughs>